everyone here to show you how, how to disassemble and reassemble your Vesper rear hub. Uh, this is a fairly simple process to get into like the bearings and all that stuff. It's the same whether the hub is a six bolt or a center lock uh, or a through axle versus a quick release. It'll be the same procedure. Uh, now to begin, you usually have this on a wheel so you can go ahead and hold your cassette or place the wheel face down so you can get some leverage, but you're gonna wanna remove the drive side end cap. Uh, now the end cap is held on by an O-ring, requires a firm tug to come off. Now once that is removed, you can go ahead and use the axle to push back against and pull the free hub body off. Uh, now this is where you can interchange your free hub bodies to the Hyperglide, the Microspline, the Campidolo, or the XDR. Uh, these free hubs will have a layer of marine grease within the splines here, and you'll see the residue of that on the driver body itself when you take it off. If there's contamination there, we do suggest cleaning it and re-greasing that with a good helping of marine grease. Now the next step to this is gonna be holding onto the axle and pulling the non-drive side end cap off. Uh, now there's a couple iterations of the brake side end cap. They all come off the same way. It's just an O-ring fit that slides off. Once you're done there, you can go ahead and push on the axle from the brake side, and that'll push the driver out of the clutch mechanism. You can go ahead and pull that out. That separates off the axle easily. And you now have access to clean your clutches, replace bearings, whatever you gotta do on the hub. Now at this point, to put it back together, you're gonna start by reinstalling the driver onto your axle from the long shouldered side. Uh, make sure that your driver surface that goes into the clutch is clean of any contamination, grease, lubes, any of that stuff. You're gonna slide it through the center of the hub, giving a counterclockwise rotation to seat it into the clutches. Now once you have that installed, you can go ahead and put your brake side end cap back on. And then you can go to your free hub body, with fresh marine grease on the splines, slide that over the axle onto the driver body, and then your end cap onto the end side, end of the hub. You're ready to bolt back into the frame. Now it should be noted as well, when this is out of the frame and not compressed, there is a slight amount of lateral play within the axle system. That is perfectly normal, even when the preload is adjusted correctly. You're just feeling the slop of the O-rings and the end caps. Nothing to be worried about there, just put it back in the frame and it should all go away.